Okay, here we go. Hello, Cancer, and happy birthday for those of you who have your birthday at uh, the, towards the end of the month of June. And this is your um, love tarot, uh, tapping and tarot reading for the month of June of 2016. And um, the last one, the last video that I did for Gemini went so long that I decided um, I'm going to uh, kind of consolidate a little bit. Um, but I do have a great reading for you. And uh, I have taken the liberty to go ahead and shuffle and put out the cards so that I won't have to take up that extra time. So here's what I want you to do to get the most out of this reading. And this is for um, cancer, people with their sun sign in cancer, or if your ascendant or your moon is in cancer, this may also apply to you. But because it is a general reading, um, you know, not all of it may apply to you specifically. So if, if you feel that it doesn't, um, definitely check the, um, my reading for your ascendant or your moon sign. Um, but really, I feel like this reading is going to apply to a lot of people, especially women. Um, and also, and especially the tapping is going to, the, the tapping that I'm going to do for this is going to apply to so many people. So, um, okay, so this is a love reading. So I want you to think about the person that you're in a, romantic relationship with. Remember, um, our romantic relationships give us such a great opportunity to look in the mirror and see ourselves, see what we're reflecting back. And um, in this particular reading, wow, for cancer, um, it's, it's really time for you to make some changes. So let me show you um, what the cards were that came up for you. And I'll explain. <laughs> okay, so card number one, right in the center. And this card in this position is representing the strength of the relationship. This is the Ten of Staves and or Ten of Wands, however you want to call it. And uh, the Ten, this, this card, um, it really represents you where you are and, and you do feel that this is your strength, that you are um, one of those, you know, dynamos. Uh, you take care of everything. You take on all the responsibility of the relationship. You're the one who plans everything, who takes care of everything. And so, and you're very efficient. You're very good at it. You know, you can be counted on. You're the responsible one that everybody comes to for help. Because Why? Because that's your strength. You're the responsible one. So that is the strength in this relationship. However, <laughs> um, the second card that came up was the fool in reverse. And so... So what that's telling me is, um, you know, because the full upright means you can um, kind of be footless and fancy free and have fun and kind of, you know, just follow, follow your heart, follow your desires and take chances with things. But the fact that this one came up in reverse, and this is the weakness of the relationship. Actually, what I was feeling with this one is that you're feeling kind of put upon. You're feeling like you're kind of being taken advantage of in the relationship because you are so responsible and you're such the go-getter and you're the one that always takes care of things. That has been your role you're feeling really overburdened and and you don't you feel like man if i didn't do everything in this relationship including probably making all the phone calls probably the one sending all the text messages 
one really keeping the relationship going that's what i feel with a lot of you this month is you're you're really and, and actually um if you're a woman in particular this is really really draining on a woman because um assuming that you want to be in your divine feminine energy um it, what you're actually doing uh, you know it's fine to be the responsible one and to be efficient and take care of everything when you're in the workplace that is perfectly fine and you will get paid well for it and you'll get promotions and and what have you um however in a romantic relationship this is this is really bad for women to to take on that role because what you end up doing you you end up being completely masculine you're coming from a masculine energy um and it's it's because it's also very controlling it's you know you don't probably see it this way and you don't uh mean any harm by it but what you don't realize is how controlling that kind of behavior is um, and it's your attempt to keep control. What they're telling me is that, a, that a, there are a lot of you who have alcoholic parents. You grew up in, a, in an alcoholic household or drug addicted household. And this is the way you learn to cope or to try to get love from one or both of your parents with, by being, you know, the one that could always be counted on. And, and in fact, you probably also uh, got really good grades. You probably uh, went on to college and, you know, got honors in, in college and did everything you could and got the most degrees, the most certifications, everything to try to be Miss Perfect or Mr. Perfect so that your parents would finally love you. And you're still doing it now in your romantic relationships. Everything you did with your parents to try to get their love, you're still doing it now. And it, it's it's not working for you, okay? Because there's resentment that's starting to build up. You're feeling taken advantage of. And, you know, something's going to blow if this keeps up. And, and I have a feeling, because this is a pattern for you, Cancer, uh, this isn't the first time that, that this has happened. And uh, it could also become some physical problems because resentment when it goes into the body can wreak havoc i'm talking literally the disease of cancer growing in your body from so much resentment now the next card the reality of the relationship this is the tower and this is exactly how it came up it came up in reverse now normally when it comes up upright it, it just means, you know, there's time, you know, it's time for a change, you know, and you need to ask yourself, what is it that I, I really need to change at this point in my life? In other words, this pattern that you've been carrying your whole life, which never really got you what you wanted anyway. Now, it came up in the reverse, which is telling me that you are afraid of making the changes that you need to make. What they're telling me is that um, you're afraid that you'll lose you'll lose uh, the love that you have, which actually, from what I'm getting, um, since you're the one carrying the whole relationship, it doesn't really seem like you're you're getting much love, or you or at least you're not feeling loved, and that's the point. It doesn't matter what you're getting if you can't feel it, and so this is really saying you know you've got a big fear of making those changes. And we're gonna do some tapping about this, so don't worry. Um, the next card, the happiness of the relationship. Wow. Um, the moon in reverse. And this is telling me that, um, you know, the thing, that can bring you the happiness in this relationship is to whatever extent you can let go of this pattern that you have. To whatever extent you can um, 
let go of um, your worry and your need to hold on to this pattern of always having to do, do, you, you've got the disease of do, do, <laughs> you know, you're just doing, 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 trying, you know, because there's a little inner child inside of you that thinks I'll get love if I just do this, do that, you know, do everything for him. And you may be really disappointed to find that actually what you've done is you've attracted a Peter Pan. And that's why he was attracted to you in the first place, because he knew that you would take care of everything for him. And so you're being his Wendy. And, but that pattern needs to change. Okay, uh, the last card of the five cards. The key to the future of this relationship, and it is the Ace of Cups. And every time I see this this card, it really it just means like my cup running over. This is love. This is uh, and because it's an Ace, it's kind of like a new beginning. And this is kind of what you're hoping for, you're wanting, and this is really the key to this relationship uh, working out the way that you want it to. But that depends on you doing the work, Cancer. Because this reading, if this is all you do, is say, oh, okay, well, I've got this reading and I know I have this pattern and I need to break this pattern. If that's all you do is just know that you have the pattern, that's not going to help you to change it. Because these patterns are deeply rooted in our subconscious minds. And so you're not going to be able to change it just by uh, willpower or just wanting it to be different. It doesn't work that way. And that's why um, I show you how to do some tapping on it. Now, so I'm going to go right into that because we're, we're getting long already. So I'm going to go ahead and start the tapping with you. And when um, I suggest that you have some water handy because uh, you want to keep moving the energy. Because what the tapping is actually going to do is it's going to help move these old trapped energies from your energy system. And so that you can begin to make new choices much easier without using willpower, but just by letting go of the old pattern that didn't work for you when you were four and it still ain't working for you okay but but it's like an obsessive compulsive thing that you just keep doing this being this people pleaser and and it doesn't get you what you want and it never will so uh start by tapping on your karate chop point And just repeat after me. Even though I feel so put upon in this relationship, I feel like I'm the one who has to do everything. And I'm really not feeling very loved right now. And even though I'm feeling unloved, I deeply and completely love and honor myself. And I honor how I feel about this. Even though... I feel like he's taking advantage of me. I have to do everything in this relationship. And just for once, I would just really love to be able to relax. But I can't because he's not willing to do anything. And I love and I honor myself and I honor how I feel about this. Even though I'm afraid that if I were to just step back from the relationship, and stop doing everything that I'm doing so that he can step up maybe and be a man, I'm afraid that this relationship is just going to come to an end because he won't do anything. And I choose to love and honor my feelings and I honor my fear that this relationship may need to come to an end. Okay, and tapping on top of the head. I'm so afraid that this relationship is going to come to an end. I'm so afraid that if I make 
the changes in myself that I really need to make. If I were to, to break this pattern of always being the one who does all the work and takes care of everybody else, I'm so afraid that this relationship will come to an end. I'm so afraid that this guy's going to leave. And then again, who cares? I feel like I, I'm I'm carrying the whole burden anyway. This 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 relationship isn't really a whole lot of fun anymore because I have to do everything, and I am so willing to break this pattern. Now on the collarbone point. I am so willing to let go of this whole pattern of trying to take care of everybody, just like I did when I was a child. I, when I took care of my mother and my father, I felt like I had to raise myself pretty much. And boy, am I pissed about that. And now every time I'm in a relationship with another Peter Pan, once again, I have to do all the work. It just brings up all that old resentment from my childhood. I never was able to just relax and be a kid. I never was able to be spontaneous and just have fun. It's so unfair. It's so unfair. I am so angry about this, I could scream. And I am so willing to break this pattern. I am so willing to speak up and to say, I don't feel comfortable with this anymore. I am so willing to communicate in a nonviolent, non-aggressive way that I am not happy. And I don't feel comfortable with the way this is going. I'm willing to let go of this old pattern because it doesn't work for me. And it never did. And just deep breath. Take a drink of water. I want to tell you, um, because I don't have much time left, this was just a start, okay, to work on ending that old pattern. And so um, if you need more, more of the tapping, um, uh, if you need a private tarot reading, um, when I upload this to YouTube, I am going to have my information in the description below. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and please uh, give me a like. Okay, once again, my name is Dawn Priolette, and I am a relationship coach and a multisensory intuitive. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, Bye for now.